Welcome back, my faithful viewers, and we've got another video. I'm going to put these back here because there's a lot of them. But we've got more. These are not water. These are teas. We're going to see if maybe I can be a tea girl. Who knows? Uh, we're going to start at this end, the far side, and we'll work our way this way. Uh, we're going to start with the armless palmer. Uh, worked through the grapevine. They went to uh, legal matters over the name. Armless, not Arnold, armless. Armless palmer. So, we're going to see what kind of tea we bring. Okay. Well, it looks like tea. We'll put you over there. Maybe we move the whole thing over there. We'll put you at the end then. Okay. Armless Palmer. It tastes like watered down iced tea. I don't get no lemon from the lemonade. This is supposed to be half lemonade, half tea. I'm not, it's like it's trying to do both and not doing a very good job at eating. Okay, so we're gonna put this over there. Okay, this one next up. <laughs> you can tell we're going for a ride, ain't we? This is the Grim Leafer. Okay, the Grim Leafer is in tea leaves. I don't know what's gonna be. I don't know what it tastes like. Um, agave and vitamins. Okay. Okay, this is more of a deeper. Okay, so that is, hold on. This is the armless palmer here. And this one's the grim leafer. So you can tell it's a deeper color. Smells like tea. This is going to be a fast video. I'm not crazy about it. I'm not crazy about these. I'm just not. I mean, I'm not tasting any tea. It tastes like you dip the water, the tea bag a second time around and you get the weak tea. Rest in peaches. So this is a peach iced tea. I'm expecting peaches. I'm expecting you to do some heavy lifting here. Oh, now this one smells nice. This one, it, it smells pretty. Mm, you can smell the peach. Okay, so, let's see the colors. Okay. Okay, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. The color, looks like tea. I don't taste no peach at all. 
It smells like peaches. It don't taste like peaches at all. It tastes like watered down Kool-Aid. I'm sorry, it does. So, this one, final one, Slaughterberry. You like to scold at Tommy. Let's talk about the packaging. <laughs> I like the packaging. It's really a nice packaging. Okay. We, the packaging is really cool. Whoever designed it put a lot of thought in it. I think I smell something like berries in it. I don't know. I'm not going to take too much. That tastes perfumey. You know when you were a kid and you play with your mouth perfume and by accident some of it ended up in your mouth and you're like nah, nah, nah. that tastes like perfume. This tastes like watered down Kool-Aid. Uh, I don't know what this one tasted like. That was uh, uh, the after death leafer, grim leafer. I'm not sure about you. Um, this tastes like watered down honor honor honor. Uh, this is the armless palmer. Yeah, I can't talk right now. Uh, you can go ahead and mix your own. Uh, I think all these are just fats. Honestly, it's just fats. Um, however, if you like the very, if you like very subtle flavor, you know, I think, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just telling you how I feel with my tongue and my taste buds. <laughs> if you are a very picky eater, you have to be a very picky eater, uh, which means that uh, can only do basically one flavor at a time. This is up your alley because it's not very exciting. It doesn't put your tongue for a loop and maybe a very sensitive taster may be able to enjoy iced tea. A very sensitive taster may be able to enjoy the flavored waters they have. Someone like me, you know, I'm on a very adventurous eater. That means I need very you know, loud flavors. <laughs> but will I buy them again? No. Would I drink them again? Probably not. If I was thirsty, I could see myself drinking it, but I would have to be very hot and thirsty in the middle of summer, probably working out in the garden or hanging out in the yard or whatever. But mm. so what's going to happen? <laughs> Is that my wife is going to enjoy all these. <laughs> She's more than welcome to them. I'm sure they're her favorite. And that would make sense. Because she is a sensitive taster. She she doesn't like her food very exciting. You know. Give her just regular plain meat and potato. She's happy with that. Me, I'm looking at the dried squid and the, all this other crazy foods. <laughs> How we manage to eat together is beyond me, but we do it. We've been doing it for ooh, almost 11 years now. <laughs> anyway, this is a, that's my review. The flavors are weak. It is watered down, and then again, it's supposed to be, well, it's supposed to be tea. I don't think it delivers on the tea very well. However, uh, all taste buds are different. Go ahead and try them for yourself. See what you think about it. Uh, the peach is very disheartening, and I really love peach tea. Uh, if you love peach, if you love peaches, you love peach tea, you love peach preserve, you love anything peach flavor, 
that's going to be a disappointment because it's very, very mild. And uh, the tea is not very strong. It's very, very weak tea. Yeah. But then again, you're talking about someone who ingests caffeine directly sometimes. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to make excuses, but I'm not happy with it. Uh, go ahead, try it for yourself. See if I was wrong. Maybe you do like it. Let me know down below your thoughts. Until next time, guys, we're going to hope for the best. We're going to prepare for the worst. I guarantee you kids will all get in up somewhere in the middle. Bye!